Of Republicans have formed battle lines over absentee voting. Some lawmakers want to make it much more restrictive in the upcoming legislation, but two powerful Republicans are saying no to key proposals. Doug Richards has more. This is an issue that could really cleave along the Republican rift that formed over President Trump's election with members of the legislature who live in areas that strongly backed President Trump wanting legislative reforms on election issues while other Republicans are starting to back away. Right, make sure it's clear. In November, the tide in Georgia turned against President Trump as absentee ballots were counted. That has sent some Republicans into a drive to curtail absentee balloting. What's the first line of review for the signature match? There is broad Republican support for strengthening the signature review on absentee ballot applications. The state's online application portal currently requires no signature, only a driver's license number. But others want to eliminate absentee ballot drop boxes, and many want to end no-excuse absentee ballots. That would mean requiring absentee ballot applicants to give a legal reason for the ballot like medical issues or advanced age or a planned absence from their Georgia residence. Yeah, I'm not supportive. Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan told us he wants to keep no excuse absentee voting. I wouldn't support that. Uh, I think that's a step in the wrong direction for, for all the, the Georgians that show up to vote. Uh, I do think there's opportunities in other places to, to, to make improvements. I want elections to be open, you know. House Speaker David Ralston also says he opposes adding restrictions to absentee ballots. Last month, the Senate Republican Caucus issued a news release saying it would write a bill requiring absentee voting for cause. But senators have not pre-filed such a bill yet as the legislative session starts Monday. There is grassroots support among Republican lawmakers for restricting absentee ballots, but the opposition from Duncan and Ralston mean that even any bill that gets out of committee may have a hard time getting a vote in either chamber.